Hey, my name is James Nicholson and welcome to my YouTube channel. It's the second video today and this one is about mortgage interest rates. More lenders have increased rates today. What is going on? We've had incredible inflation news. The inflation has dropped from 2.2% last month down to just 1.7%, which is significantly lower than the target of 2%. This pretty much nails on the fact that the Bank of England are going to cut rates in November and probably December as well. So interest rates, base rate is going to go down. But why are your mortgage rates going up and who is increasing? Well, I'm going to cover that and more in this video. So if you haven't done already, do subscribe to the channel over there and hit that bell notification. We're on the way to 32,000 subscribers. And while you're here, smash like, tick or like, do something to that like button that really helps with the youtube algorithm and it helps us grow the channel so thanks to everyone that does that so in inflation data came out today and so inflation was at 2.2 percent it dropped to 1.7 percent conveniently for the government this is the best month that they could have low inflation so some of you will be skeptical of if this inflation data is correct, I'm sure. Let me know in the comments what you think. But the government, they decide the increases to things like benefits, housing benefits, um, paternity, maternity pay, and all of these things off the September inflation numbers. And that's what we got today. It's a big drop, maybe a coincidence, but nevertheless, it's good for the government so it means that they will be paying out significantly less. So inflation is below the 2% target now. That's great. That's what we wanted to happen. Now the Bank of England should start dropping rates. And the, the, the markets are pricing in the fact that the Bank of England will cut interest rates in November at 90% now. It's pretty much a foregone conclusion that they take the interest rate from 5% down to 4.75%, which is not much of a drop, but it is still a drop. And if you're on a tracker rate, great, that will get passed on to you pretty much in the next monthly payment. So that's good for people on tracker rates. It's not great for people on savings that have got ISAs and stuff like that, because those rates will also drop pretty much immediately, if not before the Bank of England even do their announcement. So we've got that expectation that the, the Bank of England base rate will go down. We've also got the expectation that it will go down again in December. We've got unemployment rising and the economy doesn't look so great going forward. So normally in those scenarios, the inflation's hit the target, unemployment's going up, the economy doesn't look so great going forward, you'd look at cutting interest rates. And that's exactly what I think the Bank of England should do, and they're likely to do. So why are mortgage lenders not cutting rates? Why are they not passing these on to you? Well, this is all down to a rate called the Sonia swap rate. And so banks that you borrow from, NatWest, HSBC, Santander, Coventry Building Society, they borrow from bigger banks. Think of JP Morgan and such like. And the rate that they borrow on is called the swap rate. Now, even though the Bank of England rate hasn't moved since August 1st, the Sonia swap rate changes almost on a daily basis. And that is going up, or it has gone up in the last week or so. That's meant that we had lenders already this week. We had TSB and we had Santander that increased rates. So TSB uh, put their rates up by a quarter of a percent, so a big jump. Santander put their rates up by 0.22%. Uh, and, and that happened. And that's because the rate that they get money at got more expensive. Now, why is the Sonia swap rate going up if inflation is going down and the Bank of England's likely to cut rates? It's all about Labour's budget. And they don't like uncertainty. So big banks like certainty, things they can bet their house on. And right now, they don't really know what Labour are going to do in the budget. We're not sure if we're going to get tax increases, uh, if we're going to spend more money. If we do spend more money as a country, as a government, 
Do they have a plan in order to fund that? That's the biggest thing. Not just uh, spending going up, but is there a real legitimate plan that the markets believe in that will pay for that stuff? That's very, very important. And right now, there is uncertainty. So the swap rate is going up. Now, other lenders have increased their rates today. So two lenders that have increased, maybe you're with them or maybe you're looking at uh, doing something with them. If you are, I would encourage you to speed things up. Um, Coventry Building Society have announced that they will be increasing rates tomorrow, Thursday. They haven't said how much, but have a look. You'll see tomorrow those rates will be going up. And NatWest has done a big jump here. So NatWest have put their rates up by 0.3%. That's quite a big jump and it will change affordability for some people. Now, if you've got a mortgage in principle, an offer in principle, that will still be valid for however long it's valid. You can have a look. Some of them are valid for three months, six months. Check the T's and C's on that. But I expect that other lenders are also likely to in uh, increase mortgage rates until Labour's budget happens. While we've still got this uncertainty, while we don't know what Labour's exactly going to do, I think that rates will continue to rise. And that's something that you need to be prepared for. So if you have a mortgage that expires in the next six months, start speaking to a broker now. Fix a rate now. And if rates in that time between now and that rate starting, if they drop, brilliant then you can swap on to the lower rate. But if they go up, at least you fixed at that lower rate. That's very, very important that you do that. And so lenders, they like certainty. With uncertainty will come volatility in the mortgage market. Everyone's reporting, lots of brokers. John Charcoal last week said rates would go down to 3%. Now they're not so sure on what will happen. But this is a short-term problem. It is a short-term problem. As soon as the budget happens, we'll know either way. Either rates will shoot up or they will go down. In six months from now, though, I think even if the rates do go up in the short term, I do start think I do think that rates will continue to go down. As we beat inflation, the Bank of England will cut rates, everything will become more stable. That's very, very important. And that could also indicate that we'll get better mortgage rates. Because what happened at Christmas last year was that lenders did creep up their rates. And at that stage, the market slowed down significantly. I think even just four or five lenders that we've got so far that have increased their rates this week is going to have a little bit of an impact on purchases. It will slow down the market just a little bit. And that might, at some point in the near future, probably, I think, in the new year, make mortgage lenders want to battle and undercut each other again in order to get business moving again. So I don't think it's going to be something that will fix itself by Christmas. The budget is the most important thing. We've got to all keep an eye on what happens with that. And what I expect will happen is the government will notice that mortgage rates are going up. It's in the news. They'll be well aware of that. The Bank of England will be talking about this as well. And I think you'll start to see more leaks about what will actually be in this year's budget. And that will give the markets uh, a decision to make on if they're happy with what they see or not. And that will give us a clearer indication, maybe a week or so before the budget, on where rates are going to go. So that's a reason to subscribe so you get up-to-date information on what's going on. Uh, do like this video, subscribe to the channel, comment below with your thoughts and opinions, and do check out all the other content on my channel, including this video right here.